So in today's video, I will show you guys how to transfer your Apple ID from one device to another. And this only works with the iPhone, iPad, as well as the iPod Touch. And today I will be doing the iPod Pro with the iPhone. Some requirements are you must be signed into iCloud on your main device, which would be my iPhone 10 on the right. And it must be on iOS 12.4 or above. I'll have a list of all the Apple products that are 12.4 and above in the description below. But just to get started, uh, what you want to do is swipe up on the device you want to set up and bring your device close to the device you want to set up on your main device and it's asking me to unlock to continue so i'm just going to do face id real quick and now it's saying i want to continue setting up on my ipad so for those of you who have a broken camera what you want to do is hit authenticate manually and then you'll have the option to type in the passcode on the screen so if your camera does in fact work, what you want to do is hover this circle over to what Apple has on the screen, the image. I'm just going to try and line it up. And then it says, keep your iPhone near the iPad while the information is being transferred. So I'm just going to leave it right here. And I'm going to enter in the passcode that I used to sign in on this device into my iPad. So I'm going to do that off screen. So now it's setting up my iPad. So now it's telling me to set up Face ID, but we're gonna go ahead and skip this just to get into the actual device itself. And I will say this won't transfer all over your apps. If you want to do that, it's going to ask you to restore from a backup. And I highly recommend that you guys just use iCloud if you want to do that. It's probably the easiest way of doing it. Now it's telling me to type in my Apple ID information, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that off screen. So now it's setting up my ID and now it's also asking me my password for my MacBook Pro. So I'm also going to type in that information. Um, this is just Apple's multi-factor authentication that they're doing. So if you have your Apple ID linked to multiple devices, it's going to ask for some passwords on that. So if you wanted to restore from an iCloud backup, you would click this option and then you would just hit that and it will restore from this backup and it will transfer over all the apps that are on your main device over to your other device. But for the sake of this video, I'm just not gonna transfer over anything. Don't believe I need this anymore. So now it's just telling me the terms and conditions. Continue. So now I'm in the iPad OS, and as you can see, I'm signed into iCloud. I'm, autom I'm automatically linked up to my Wi-Fi as well because it got that information from my main device. Um, as you can see here, it has all my information of what has been linked from my Apple ID on all my other devices and this device to this one. So that's just the guide of how to transfer your Apple ID Quickly, now I'm gonna show you guys what the process would be like if you were to do a restore from backup as well. All right, so now I'm transferring over my iCloud backup from my iPhone 10 over to my iPad. So when the restore is done, I'll show you guys what the interface inside iPad OS will look like. So if you decided to do the iCloud backup after it's done, it will show that the restoration is complete. When hit continue, I'll set this up later. And the restoration took about an hour. I had about 100 gigs. So as you can see, I have about 100 gigs of apps and data. So that's why I just have so many apps on my screen. But that's pretty much how you transfer data from your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch between one another wirelessly. And if you like the content, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and that's it. See you guys in the next one.